We're going to walk through how to complete a course on the LCWTA Learning Management System. For this video, we'll be completing the Mandatory Reporter online course. Community partners are the only ones who need to create accounts. Foster parents, pre-service foster parents, and DCFS staff do not create their accounts. Let's quickly go over how to create a community partner account. First, visit the LCWTA LMS login page and click the Community Partner Account Creation button. Fill out the required fields. After clicking Create My New Account, you will be alerted about a confirmation email. Click the link in the email to confirm your account. Home pages are customized to best fit each learner. We'll take a quick look at each home page before we walk through the mandatory reporter training. The home pages for certified foster parents, DCFS staff, and community partners are very similar. Starting at the top, important updates will be posted in this section. These buttons help you quickly navigate to parts of the site you will frequently visit. The first button allows you to browse online courses. Next up, we have the button for in-person courses. You can browse in-person opportunities. This includes Zoom trainings as well. Click the View My Courses button to see a list of courses you're enrolled in. And the View My Certificates button to view, save, and download your certificates. Next, the Top in Progress section highlights your recently accessed courses. Finally, these sections allow you to view all courses available to you. Pre-service and certified foster parents will find the course on their My Courses page. DCFS staff and community partners, including CASAs, will find the course under the Safety and Assessment category. Click View More and then Start. On the next page, select Enroll Me. Once enrolled, we're taken to the course page. At the top, you'll see a few tabs. The Information tab gives you the course description and training credit details. The Grades tab lets you check your pretest and post-test results. If you need to unenroll from the course, you can do so with the More tab. To begin, click the Activities to Complete box. All activities must be completed to earn your training credit and access your certificate. Let's start with a pretest. Click Attempt Quiz when you're ready to start the pretest. Once you've answered all the questions, click Finish Attempt. You'll be prompted a few times to confirm your submission. Afterward, you can review which questions you got right. When you're ready, click Finish Review. Now you're ready to begin the main training activity. You could either click the provided link to go straight there or return to the course page where you'll see the pretest has been marked as complete. Let's take a quick look at the training activity. Click enter after reading the brief description. And we've officially started. Let's skip ahead to what happens once you finish the activity. The post test can be completed after finishing the training activity. The post test is set up just like the pretest. The key difference is that you need to score at least an 80% to earn your training credit. You'll have three attempts to pass. Let's skip ahead. It looks like we passed. All that's left is the course feedback survey. Click answer the questions to begin. First, respond to the five prompts on this page, then click next. The following page will have three more prompts. Once you're done, click submit questionnaire. Now that you're done with the course activities, let's check out your certificate. To view and download your certificate, click this certificate box on the course page. Some courses have additional helpful resources. If available, you can find them in the resources box on the course page. We hope this tutorial helps you navigate and successfully complete courses on the LCWTA learning management system. Thanks for watching.